Hello and welcome back to the Pairs 2018 Master League with Newcastle United. Just a quick recap before we crack on into this episode because it's a biggie. Uh, we played Crystal Palace to a one all draw in the last episode. We got our Champions League group stage draw in the last episode and we smashed Watford by four goals to one. And then of course finished the transfer window by making a few signings. But this episode, this episode is going to be bloody mahoosive, so it is. Uh, we have our first Champions League game at St. James's Park against Steaua Bucharest. Then we have the first Time Weir Derby of the series, as Sunderland have miraculously managed to get promoted back to the Premier League. And we'll be playing at the Stadium of, Sh Stadium of Light, I should say. Uh, and then we'll finish this episode against Manchester United away. And then after that we have Bayern and Arsenal, which is just madness. Just madness. So here it is, our first Champions League game. We're just diving straight into it because this is going to be a big one. Uh, we were, I was thinking about changing the lineup around, but I've decided, you know what, we'll go with the lineup that got us to this stage. So it's our uh, our usual lineup from last season of Alves, Lejeune, Clark, Schlupp, Yedlin, Neves, Shelby, Marino, Cornet, Burke, and Babacar. Up against a Stoya Bucharest side of prepare to have names butchered. Anyone from Romania, I apologize in advance. Uh, Stanchi Balasha, Planic, Junior Mar Maranao, Benzar, Popescu, Nadelchu, Enchenchu, en oh god, Enchenu, Enganche, Badescu, and Alabech. Alabech? I don't know. I'm not a cultured man. I am from Northern Ireland. We don't have. The only cultures we have up here are sectarianism, and that's about it, really. But anyway, it's time to crack on. First Champions League game, I am very, very excited. So let's just let's just get into it, shall we? So the long journey to the summit of European football starts with the opening fixture of the Champions League. So quite a contest we have in store. Just listen to the noise level from the stands. And so the distinctive sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem. Have a look at the starting lineups now. Here we bloody well go. European football back at St James's Park in the Champions League. Oh, it's exciting. You can clearly tell this is a video game though because when is this ever going to happen again? Back into Badescu and Alabek looks for the shot. That's the first of the first of the game and it's straight at Diego Alves but I would have preferred the first shot to have come to us to be honest. Marino. Now Babacar. He's got Corne through the middle here. It's Maxwell Corne. He's in. Real chance for 1-0. Corne has taken it. And we have the lead in the Champions League. Maxwell Corne gives us the opening goal. We're on the back foot for the majority of this first half so far, but Babacar finds Corne, splits the defence, and Corne slides it past the goalkeeper. And we have a vital lead in our Champions League campaign. These are the games we have to be winning, especially with the likes of Bayern, and I think we have Atletico as well in our group. Tidy finish from the Frenchman, and we have a 1-0 lead. Babacar. 
Over the top, Corne could be in again here. He's going to hit it first time. Why not? Corne has a strike. And it's saved and behind for a corner. Shelby to take it. Here comes his head back across. And Babacar's flick. And the keeper makes an instinctive save. Great ingenuity from Babacar. But Descu. Alabek. Through for Enganche. Oh, that's a tidy finish. That is a tidy finish. And Steyer Bucharest are level. Enach. Enache. Number 44 has equalised for the Romanian side. We've been caught on the break. And we have been punished for it. Corne, good work by him. He's got Burke through the middle. Chance for Burke. Can he find the keeper? Keeper comes out well. And put does just enough to put off Oliver Burke. He's got Yedlin on the overlap. Yedlin's ball in towards Babacar with the header. Big save by the keeper again. And Babacar is once again denied by the keeper, but we keep it with Yedlin. And Marino. Babacar can't get there ahead of his man. And Stoya get it away. Stoya have not given us any time whatsoever on the ball. As soon as we get it, they're right in there to close us down. But we have a chance right at the end of the half with Burke. Looks to lift one in towards Babacar with the header. And Babacar is going to get it back. Big save again by the keeper. Babacar is being denied constantly. And that will end the half. The big chance to take the lead right on the stroke of half time. And we've been denied by this keeper. Who is this lad? Because he's ridiculous. So down the line for Corne. Inside for Neves. Through for Babacar. It's going to come out to Neves. He can't get the shot away. Shelby with a great tackle. And he's got space to shoot. John Joe Shelby! And he's absolutely pinged it in the bottom corner. And Newcastle will retake the lead through Voldemort himself with a bit of magic off that right foot. A big goal for Newcastle United and John Joe Shelby. I can't remember the last time he scored in this series. It's very scrappy. Great work there to win it back. And he's absolutely smashed that past the goalkeeper into the bottom corner. Terrific finish. And we retake the lead. Can we hold on to it now? That is the important thing. Great tackle. That's great work from Shelby. Using his aggression in the right way for once instead of standing on people's testicles. Or killing wizards. Kuma Babakar, it's just not worked out for you today, big man. So we're going to bring you off. Replace you with Lautaro Martinez. He gets his first taste of Champions League football. Shelby with another delivery. Can we make this one count? That's not a bad ball. It's Berg! Oh, that is fantastic. That is an absolutely brilliant, brilliant set piece from Newcastle United. And surely that's the three points now. Surely that's a winning start in this Champions League group stage. It's a terrific ball from Shelby. And Burke meets it with his curly bounce and loops it over the goalkeeper into the back of the net. 3-1. Martinez. Ball out wide for Burke. Can he keep hold of it? He can. Yes, he can. Burke makes it for Oliver Burke. I love this little lad. He is quite fantastic. And his end of season form from last season carries on into this season to be fair this is a bit harsh on Stoya Bucharest considering how much pressure they put on us in the first half good determination from Burke he pokes it in at the keeper's near post 4-1 we will absolutely take this result because you know and it could come down to goal difference with such a difficult group good strength shown and a lovely reverse by Burke into the back of the net. 4 1. By Benzar. Not a bad ball. Looking for Alabet. Cut out by Lejeune. It breaks for someone. It's cleared away only as far as Bodescu. Ball back in. It's an Ache and it's over the bar again. It's as close as Stoya have come in this second half and it's their goal scorer, in Ache or in Ache or number 44, as we will call him from now on. Alves. Good hit. Good save by Alves. They're coming back into this game now. But at this stage, you'd like to think it's too late for them to make any sort of impact. But you never do know. Abdul Rahman. Shelby. And Cham. 
It's going to have a go. It's going to be blocked. And it's going to come through to the keeper. And that surely is going to be it. For our first Champions League game, it's going to be a success. But Burke's going to look for the hat trick hit. That's a crunching tackle. Surely the ref should have blown by now. I would have thought. There we go. The referee blows his whistle. A 4 1 victory in our first season back in the Champions League after a very, very long absence. Can't really ask for a much better start than that, to be honest. A clean sheet would have been nice, but three points is all you get, no matter what the score. So, happy days. Happy, happy days. So, here are the other results in the Champions League. Uh, feel free to pause at your leisure. Um, who else? Bayern Atletico. Bayern smashed Atletico. Which is, uh, well, not really expected, but, you know, 3-0. Uh, so let's have a look at the group. There we are. We are top of the group. Take that, Bayern. Even though we can see... Oh, we scored more, I suppose. Take that, Bayern Munich. Yeah. So here we go. It is time for the Tyne Weir Derby against Sunderland. This is arguably as big a game as the Stoy Booker S game. Uh, Sunderland... With the line of Mika in goal, he can be brown, he can be blue, he can be violet in the sky, but in this occasion he is goalkeeper. Uh, Love O'Shea is still playing, Oviedo, Matthews, McNair, Rodwell, Williams, McGeady, Zahavi and Duncan, what more? That's a beatable team, surely. And we have Diego Alves, Lejeune, Clark, Schlup, Paslak is in for Yedlin, who was, uh, whose momentum or his form or something had a big red arrow in it, so I just took him out. Uh, Neves, Shelby, Marino, Corne, Burke, and Lautaro Martinez replaces Kuma Babacar. Big, big game this. Bragging rights on the line. We await the conclusion. Ah, the stadium of shit. Sorry, the stadium of light. Fun fact I went to university in Sunderland. Uh, media production. There you go. Got a 2 1. Oh, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. And uh, not, I lived just around the corner from the stadium of light in my second year. Uh, live within walking distance in all three years, and not once did I go. Um, because, you know, Newcastle were just up the road, so just jump on a metro every Saturday. We were in the championship at that point, uh, which was kind of upsetting, but we won every week, which was lovely. Uh, but anyway, that's off topic. Um, the, I didn't get to go to a time weird derby, which is kind of annoying, uh, mainly because I feared for my own life. Uh, but the annoying thing is the 5-1 occurred when I was at university and living there, so I could have gone and that would have been class. But then living in Sunderland, getting the train back home would have been uh, slightly fraught with danger. Anyway, enough of my bloody nonsense. It's time to smash Sunderland. Sunderland, right, Sunderland traditionally, every year, takes six points off Newcastle, which is boggles my mind as they are moderately terrible. So let's buck that trend this in this uh, playthrough. There's a header early on from, I think that's Aaron Zahavi. But it's gone wide. To turn and run. And play in Burke. Martinez has been taken out off the ball. Surely ref's going to call that back for a free kick. And he does. Well done, referee. Get him booked. Get him booked. He's called Donald. And he's a under 50. That should not be allowed. That should be a booking in itself. Shelby is going to take this, and we're going to shoot. Why not? Going to bend it round the wall, and he's going to bend it round the goal, which is unfortunate. Got Matthews on the overlap. He looks to drill one in towards Watmore. He's got there ahead of him, and Alves, instead of catching the ball like a normal person, punches it round for a corner. Didn't seem enough power in that to warrant that sort of save, but, you know, I'm, who am I to doubt Diego Alves? Let's see. Yeah, well, I'm just glad he made the save, to be honest. Matthews. Into what more? He's going to strike one from distance, and Alves has to make the save. Right, okay, this is beginning to get rather worrying. Now, Corne. Schlup on the overlap. Whips one in. Martinez with the header. Big save by Mika. Martinez. He's going to have to hit one from distance and forces a save out of Mika. Corner from Shelby. We scored from the last one. What can we do from this one? Martinez is up. And he's hit the post. Oh, Christ. There's the header. Big save by Mika. It comes at him too quick to adjust. And by the time he does adjust, the shot that he does take him off the post. Lejeune. Oh, he's been dispossessed. And Watmore is in here. Duncan Watmore. Real chance. He's in one-on-one -on -one with Alves. Alves comes out and Watmore has scored. And Sunderland have the lead. 
Right, with the last kick of the half, Duncan Watmore has gone through and scored for Sunderland. Oh, that's my own fault. My own fault, a huge mistake from Lejeune. He had too much time to think about it, dispossessed. And Watmore uses his pace. Alves does come out to put the pressure on, but Watmore has finished it. And Sunderland have a shock lead. Well, not even a shock lead. They've absolutely they've kind of deserved that on the balance of play, as much as I don't want to admit it. Big mistake from Florian Lejeune. And Watmore is in and just smashes it past Alves. And that is the last kick. The very last kick of the half is what gives Sunderland the lead. Flick from Martinez. Corne back to Martinez. He's got a chance here. Martinez! It's in! It's gone in! I don't know how it's gone in, but Lautaro Martinez has equalised for Newcastle United. He gets one-on-one -on -one with, I think that's Don Love, and he's pressured by O'Shea, who's not going to reach him as he moves with the speed of a tectonic plate. That's a lovely flick in behind. Corne's ball forward. Mika must get a touch on this. He does. It's come off his knee and gone in, but we don't care. It's the equaliser for Newcastle United. Zahavi. Zahavi. What more? That's a lovely play in behind for Johnny Williams, who's hit the post. And Watmore's going to score on the follow-up. And Sunderland retake the lead through Duncan Watmore. That's a lovely flick in behind from Watmore, in fairness. The shot off the post. And Watmore has the easiest job in the world to tap it into an empty net. And we are behind once again. Now, this is not me making excuses, it's generally true. In pairs, whenever you play teams that are either a league below you or have just been promoted, it's always absolutely impossible. They're so rigid and they're, they press so high and it's really, really difficult. But that's no excuse, really. We have the much better side. We should be winning this game. Now, Abdul Rahman looks to break here. Still Abdul Rahman. And still Omar Abdul Rahman. Big save by Mika. Shelby. Looks to spin. Can he shoot? Yes, he can, but Mika makes another save. No, dispossessed by Callum McManaman. And Sunderland looked to break. Shelby, great block. Great block by Shelby. Or by Schlup, I should say. Dinks it in. No one there. That's a perfect delivery. There's no bugger there. Oh, my God. Oh, my word. Sunderland nearly put it into their own net. Big tackle by Oviedo. Big tackle by Ndong. And that may well do it. I think that is it. Sunderland have won the Tyneweir derby. And I am absolutely gutted. I am absolutely devastated. On the balance of play, they probably deserve to edge it a little bit, but it doesn't take the sting out of the result. That is... That is, that is tough to take. That is very tough to take. Not only have Sunderland beaten us in the derby, they have inflicted our first loss of the season upon us and we dropped down to 7th in the table. After that crushing disappointment against Sunderland, we have the chance to redeem ourselves, but it's not going to be easy against Manchester United away at Old Trafford with a team of De Gea, Koulibaly, Lindelof, Darmian, Valencia, Pogba, Matic, Quadrado, Lingard, Ander Herrera and Romelu Lukaku. We have our usual lineup. Except for Incham comes in to replace Marino. And I think that's it. We need to we need to end this episode on a high. We started on such a positive and it's a massive dip. But now we have to win this game. A wet and rainy night in Manchester. As we look to redeem ourselves somewhat. Last time we played Man United though we did beat them 1-0 through uh, Kuma Babakar goal. Babakar on the bench tonight. We may need him to repeat his miracle. But we need we need just we just need to win this game to take the sour taste of it out of our mouth. And Cham. Martinez. Burke. Oh, and Cham's got it. And Cham will strike it across goal. And De Gea has to make the save. He did have options, maybe should have squared it. Shelby to Burke. 
He's made space for a cross. Can he get one in and towards Martinez? And he scores! It's gone underneath David De Gea. I did not think that was going in. I thought De Gea had that covered, but Martinez has given us the lead. Burke gets the ball across, and Martinez, that's poor from De Gea. It's actually come off him and gone into the back of the net. And the most, possibly the best goalkeeper in the world has made a huge mistake. But we don't care. 1-0. We need a big result after that Sunderland game. Who finds Burke. He's up against Darmian. He's done brilliantly. Burke. And Cham's going to hit this. Back in and De Gea makes a big save. Lukaku. Oh, he's been taken down by Clark. That's very cynical on the halfway line. Surely only a yellow. That's fine. I can, I'm not even going to argue about that because that was a, a rather appalling tackle from Kieran Clark. Let's see, Lukaku turns and yeah, that's not good. Not good at all. Free kick from Pogba. Lejeune's going to get that away and he does out wide for Corne. Now we have a chance to break. It's four against two here, I think, but we... No, we can't. We can't do anything. Yes, we can, Corne. Good work. He's got Burke free. What a ball. Oliver Burke with a chance to make it 2-0. And he does. Oliver Burke is clutch. As per usual. Half an hour gone and we are 2-0 up at Old Trafford. This is the perfect remedy. We're 2-0 up against the champions. Great work by Corne after initially losing the ball. He wins it back. And Burke slots it past David De Gea. Nothing he could do about this one this time. Quadrado. Darmian. Great play by Yedlin. Well in. Burke. Lovely flick. Martinez. Back to Burke. This is lovely play. He's got corner arriving in the middle. And it's 3-0. 3-0 Newcastle United. Maxwell Corney. Our front three is getting deadlier and deadlier and deadlier. All three of them have scored now. And all three of them link up for this goal. Great ball in. Corne, where is Valencia? Corne gets in front of his man. Great ball in by Oliver Burke. And Corne free as you like to head it past David De Gea. 3-0 before halftime. Matic with the ball in behind. And we look to get this clear. Schlup does get it clear. And that will do it for a huge first half. A very eventful first half as we have a 3-0 lead at Old Trafford going into the break. Lovely play by Oliver Burke. Yedlin's going to drill this across. And Corne is going to make it for... Maxwell Corne with his second of the game. And we make it 4-0 at Old Trafford. This is ever so slightly ridiculous. It really, it doesn't really make up losing the derby. But it's put a smile on my face anyway. Lovely piece of play by Burke. Smacked across and Corne. He did his best to miss that. But he's managed to find the back of the net. Pogba. Looking for Ibrahimovic. Big chance for Ibrahimovic. Brilliant block by Kieran Clark. Ibrahimovic, lovely take. But Kieran Clark. Who says that Kieran Clark's rating is decreasing? This game is clearly bollocks. He has absolutely had Ibra in his pocket since he's come on. Clark again gets it away. Ibrahimovic. This time he's, it's worked out well, and Alves makes the save, and we prevent the corner. But it comes to Pogba and Ibrahimovic. Big save again by Alves. Shelby now. Right wide for Sisto. He's going to run. He's going to keep running, Sisto. He's going to keep running. He's left Pogba on his arse. What a run this is from Pion Sisto. He's going to have a go. Big save. Corne in for the hat trick. Is he going to claim it? No, it's gone in off to Gea. It's an own goal. Corne has denied his hat trick. But we don't care, it's 5-0. What a run from Pion Sisto. From inside his own half, gets the shot away straight at De Gea. Corne, I think that should be Corne's goal, because I think that's creeping in at the far post. But either way, 
It's 5-0 at Old Trafford. What a result this is. Sisto unlucky. I think that's going in, but De Gea does us a favour. And for the second time this game makes a huge mistake to make it 5-0 Newcastle. By the way, I would like to point out, I swear this is true, I have not put the difficulty down after that son of the game to get a result. I always play on top player. That's the, just the way I play. That's just, I don't play on Superstar or whatever it is because, you know, I like to enjoy the game. And not throw my controller through the telly. So, I'm on top player, that's what I always play on. It's just one of those rare performances where stuff goes our way, schlups ball in. Babacar, can he make it six? No he can't, as it's cleared away and that will do it. Well, I don't think any of us were expecting that, to be honest. That's uh, that's quite ridiculous. 5-0 away at Old Trafford against the reigning champions. I'll do. I'll take that. That'll, that'll absolutely do. And for once, we've actually won in the possession stats as well. Hurrah! Um, not so much in passes made and all that, but it's 5-0. Shut up. And that result has uh, moved us back up the table into 5th place with 10 points. Drops United down to 8th place on 8 points. In the next episode, it's still as action-packed as this one. With We will start against Bayern Munich away at the Allianz Arena. Then it's away at the Emirates to play Arsenal. And then a big old gap where we have Brighton in the FA Cup second round. Uh, the FA Cup second round was our Achilles heel last season with Bournemouth, so Brighton, don't be the new Bournemouth. Please don't be the new Bournemouth. Jesus Christ, then it's Atletico City and then Liverpool. Jesus Christ. What a ridiculous uh, start to the season that we have. But anyway, that is in the future. As for the immediate present, uh, that is uh, this episode over and done with. Thank you so very much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, do give it a like. Do give it a share and do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the bell icon slash notification type thing uh, to let you know when we upload new videos, uh, including the Master League and the 3 and 3 series and any general discussions and debates that we have uh, that we would love you to get involved with. So thank you again very much for watching and until then we will see you in the next one.